welcome to Dozy Tech and then in this tutorial I'll be walking you through how you can create a gallery using Django that should be rendering our images to the templates or HTML files from our database so to get started I'll create a folder on my desktop name this folder project you can choose to give it any other name you prefer And then within this folder, I'm going to create my virtual environment. You can also choose to keep your virtual environment outside your project folder. It all depends on how you want to go about it. So I'll just right click and then open this folder in my terminal. So I'll be using virtual env. So you have to pip install virtual env if you don't have it already installed. Okay, so if you have it already installed on your machine, you're going to get this message requirement already satisfied. So after installing your virtual environment, you can now use this command virtual env and then write the name of the virtual environment you want to create. So in this case, I'm going to choose env, that's the name I prefer to use for my virtual environment. It can actually be any name you prefer. Okay, you can see it has created our virtual environment for us. So if you go back to the project folder you created on your desktop, you're going to see this name here. EMV. So whatever name you use to create your virtual environment will be the same name of the folder here. So you can now activate it by going to this folder script. Right click on the batch file. Copy as path. And then you paste it here. Click on enter and then it will activate your virtual environment for you. Now let me show you another way you can go about it. Okay, since the EMV folder is in the same project folder here. Can just write the name of the environment here env script backslash activate and then it will also activate the virtual environment for you okay so now the next thing is to install django so you just go pip install django and always make sure you are connected to the internet so that you'll be able to download django Okay, so now I have Django installed. So you can use this command Django hyphen admin start project and then you write the name of your project. In this case, we are creating a gallery, so let's use gallery. So now the name of our project will be gallery. So when you go to your project folder where you have your environment created, you're going to see we have another folder called gallery. And then in this folder, we have another folder, another folder called gallery. So this gallery folder contains the main configurations for your application. So once we get started with this project, we're going to talk about the settings of the py file and then the URLs of the py file. But now let's focus on the manage.py file. You'll be using it to start our app that's creating our application. Use it to run our server, make migrations and other commands. So you get to know more when we start with the actual project. So now let's see into our gallery project. So DIR will give you the list of folders or files within that particular directory. So you can see we have our manage.py file here. You can now say python manage.py start app. And then you write the name of the app. You can choose to give it whatever name you prefer. But I'll choose core. Let me use base instead. Base. Okay, so now I have our application created. We have base here. If you go to your project folder, you're going to see your base application here. Okay. So now you can run our server to see whether our application was successfully created. So if I to manage with py run server. So you can just copy this URL here. And then paste it in your browser. Control V, yes, paste. You can see your application was successfully installed. So now I can just go ahead and open it with your text editor you prefer. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. So I can just write code dot and then to open this folder in your Visual Studio. 
all right so now the next thing is to install our application which is called base in our project folder so when you open your project folder navigate to settings of py at the section where you have your installed apps that's where you register your application here so you just write the name of your application which is base and then bring a comma all right now the next thing is to specify the directory of our template folder so by default django will be looking for our template folder within our application but we don't want that so i'm going to create the template folder outside our application so i name it templates and then within this template folder that's where we are going to have our html files so let me create the first file index.html all right so now back to our settings.py file let's import os so import os okay so we are going to ask django to look for our template folder inside our base directory now this is our base directory where you can see the file semi.py file that's your base directory so right base there that's a base directory so os dot path dot join base directory you should look through our base directory and then add this folder template mind you the name you use here should be the same name as the folder you have here okay the next thing to do is specify the path for our static files that's our css javascript images and then other files you want to add to our django project so static files underscore this that's static files directory should be equal to os dot path dot join base the that's our base directory because we'll be having a static folder here so base there and then the folder name which is static we can create our static folder here static all right and then within our static folder i'm going to add some images later i'll be rendering the images from our database okay, so i'm going to call it img okay so i have some images already on my desktop here you can also get some images from your computer and then you add it to your static folder so our project i created it outside Oh, sorry. your static folder should be outside your project settings or your project folder it should be in your base directory here where you can see your manage.py file okay i'm going to paste the images i'm going to paste the images in there in the static folder here i have img here all right so let me walk to you walk you through the folders we have so this are projects and this are app these are static files that's where we add in our javascript css for our images and then videos to document or any other resource you want to add to your project and then within your static folder i created a folder called img you can give it whatever name you prefer and then added my images to it okay and the next thing is to create our urls so our urls is just like the path for our project so let's say you have for slash about services all those things are created in our urls or py file i'm going to create urls.py in our application that is base so, urls.py now you need to add this urls.py to our project so that it will be recognized so let's go back to our project folder here and go scroll down to urls now here you're going to import include we have path 
leave the first one blank and then include the URLs inside our application which is base so base dot URLs all right uh, I think we are good with this let's close our project go back to our urls.py file but first let's create our views so in this project i'm going to be using function based views so let's create our first uh, view i'll call it index and then pass in the request and return and you render the request my and then the name of your html file we named it index.html so whatever name you use for your html file you have to use the same name here so index.html all right so now i have to create a url to render this particular function here so in your urls.py file but first let's import some files you can get it in your urls.py file here okay so from django.urls import but i can just copy that and then paste here okay so we have url patterns so within your url patterns that's where you're going to list your urls you have in your project so path so since that the first page is our home page i'm going to leave that blank and then views.index that's the name of the function you created inside our views of py and then you specify the name for that particular url which is index okay so now let's import our views so from dot import views okay so we can now run our server and then see whether our html file was successfully rendered so python manage.py run server we can just copy this url here and then you paste inside your browser okay so you can see you now have a blank page because you don't have anything inside our index.html file so now let's close this off and then let's work with the html file so we're going to start with the basic html syntax here change the title to gallery and then let's add some headings so h2 image gallery all right so now let's refresh our page to see whether it's rendered everything correctly so we have our html file working correct so now let's add bootstrap to it so i'll be using the bootstrap grids so we'll go to your documentations okay so we just need this file here the first link here so I have link then paste your bootstrap link inside and then below here we add a script that's the javascript file bootstrap so just copy this link and then paste it inside here So now you can make use of our grid and then since we have already configured the static files inside our project settings we can now make use of the image inside our static folder here so to use static files in your html you, have, you need to load static load static like this so i'm going to have some grid system here so rule Okay, four four columns so not call lg three since I need four columns times three like to just create three sorry four all right so we now have four columns here so now be adding the images in here so img This is static 
and then you start by writing where you can locate the image files. So I have it in img. I'm going to write img forward slash and then the name of the file. That's jpg. You can add a width of 100%. But first, let me just render this to see whether the part is actually correct. Okay, so the part is actually correct, and then you have our image showing here. Okay, let me get rid of this divs here. I'll duplicate it once I have it. But let's keep our work in the container here. Okay. Then let's move the text here to the center. I'm using bootstrap, so the text center. So I'll move the text to the center. I can add some patterns to the top and then the bottom. Py, let's say five. Okay, four is okay. All right. And let me duplicate this. So two. So remember the names you use for your images. They are supposed to be the same, else it's not going to render it correctly on the page. You're going to get some errors. I have four images. Let me actually use eight. I have eight images. Okay. So five, six, seven, and then eight. All right. So you can actually give some margins here. With bootstrap, you can give some margins. But first, let me select everything here. So you want it to actually break down on medium screens. So call MD, I need only two. And then on small screens, I need the full. So I'll use 12. So you can just select, select the first one, then control D in VS code to actually select uh, all text that matches the text you have selected. On top, so you can just give it empty four. That's margin top in Bootstrap. So you can see we now have some margins around this thing. And then by default, it's automatically responsive. So I, as I scale down on medium screens, I need two. And then on small devices, I just need one. So that's how you can work around it. Okay. Now this one, what we want, we want to actually render the images from our database, and then display them on. Our HTML file rather than adding the images manually anytime you need to make updates okay so to do that let's go back to our base which is our application and then you see this file here models.py that's what you're using to create our database so let's first create our database let's call it gallery and then we're inheriting from models models.model Yes, the gallery. Let's add a title, which will be the just the name of the image we are uploading. Models dot character field. Max length. Let me give it. Okay, seventeen. It's okay. And then the image. Models dot image field. Let's name it like that. Let's create a string function here. Let's call it str. Let's pass in self and then return self dot title. So it will actually render the title of the image rather than giving us objects and then the number of the object or passing the ID of the object. So after creating a model, we need to register that in our admin.py. So when you render when you register the models here is going to show in our admin panel but if you don't it won't show in your admin panel so we need to import our models here so from dot import no let me actually uh, import the name of the model from dot models import gallery all right so you can just right click on it in this an extension i've installed in vs code Oh, let me go by this admin dot site dot register so I don't get confused gallery okay, 
So now I have our models registered in our admin panel. So now let's make migrations. But for us to use images, we need to install a library called Pillow. So let's do pip install Pillow. All right. So now I have Pillow installed. So anytime you make you make changes in your database or you create a new model, which is a table, you have to make migrations. And then after making your migrations, you need to migrate so that to apply the changes or the table you just created. All right. So now you need to create a super user to access the admin panel. So you have to do Python and this go back to this previous command. Python manage.py create super user. So admin can leave the email blank and then you just create a password for your super user. All right. So you can now run our server. Python manage.py run server. You might already have a server running here. So to go to your admin panel, you just have to add a forward slash and then write admin. That will give you access to your admin panel. So you just log in with the username and then password you just created. So you can see we have our application base and then the model we added, gallery. So from here you can actually add the title and then the image we want to show. But before you can add the images to our project, we first need to specify the media root and then the media URL for our media files. So let me just open the project back with the VS Code. Code dot. All right. Let me keep the server running. All right. So I can have a comment here. You can just say media. Media file. We have media underscore URL should be equal to media and then FOS slash. Now you need to write the media root. Let's say media underscore root should be equal to OS dot part dot join. Place the and then the name of your media folder. Okay, so you don't need to necessarily create a media folder in your base directory. It will automatically create the moment you upload an image. Now I need to add this media URL and then the media route to our URL.py file here. So you need to import from django.conf import settings. So you need to import settings here. The next thing is to import static. So from django dot conf dot urls dot static static import static and then the last thing is to add a pattern to it a url pattern so if settings dot debug if settings dot debug url patterns plus equal to your static and then need to specify your static uh, URL so start settings dot media underscore URL that's what we just created in our settings of py file here that our settings of py file there and then next thing is to specify the document root which is our media root so document underscore root should be equal to settings dot media underscore root okay so i think we are good to go now so our media url this is it over here and then the media root you can now just go back to our admin panel refresh and then add some image so we just say hotel one let me write so you can just save and then add another let me add a second image to hotel 2. Save and add another. Hotel 3. Uh, 
Let me add the last one, hotel four. So now when I click on this image and then click on the image uploaded, I can actually see it. So if you don't get this and get a 404 error, you need to go back to your URS or PY file and then check whether you've done the correct thing here. So once that is done, we can just get the images and then render them onto our HTML file. Okay. Now let's go back to our views. So you need to import the model. So from dot models import gallery. That's the name of the model we just created in our models of the Wi Fi. That's it. Gallery. So you just see images. You can just give it any name you want. But this is the name I just prefer. So images is equal to gallery dot object dot all. That's where you are getting all the data you have within this table you can now just pass that into a context variable here we have images sorry images and then the name of the variable image so i mostly prefer to use the same name i use here yes so that i don't get any errors i just bring a comma and then just pass in the context variable so context so we have now actually sent this data onto our HTML file. So you can now get it. So you can actually remove all these images. Let's leave one here. Let me refresh so that you can see we have only one image left. So you can actually use your for loop to actually bring out all the data you have within that particular model. So for image in images remember we use images here so whatever name you use here should be the same name you have here so you need to end for so end for that's ended the for loop so for image in images so instead of specifying the static url for this image you can actually remove that and then render what you have from the database so image dot url so you need to add the url so that it will actually print the file i actually added the title so that it will actually identify the image so inside this alt, alt attribute here you can just write the name of the image there so in case the image is not able to render on your html file it will rather show the name you added as title okay now let's Refresh, you can see since the image didn't load, we have this thing here. All right, so image dot image. Sorry, the name of the the name of that column was image. So you need to write from image dot image dot URL the image dot title all right so you can see we now have our images rendering from our database and i do control you you can actually see we have it inside our media folder here so if you go to your base directory you are going to see a media folder and then all the images you upload will automatically show inside your media folder here. let me add four more images so add hotel five Save and add another hotel six. Shoot the image hotel seven. Save and add hotel eight. All right, so now if you refresh, you're going to see it will now render the images we just added to our database so now you can see the last image the last image we added actually came down so you can actually reverse the for loop here you can just write reversed so that the current one will always display on top okay, so in this way so you can choose to add more and more and more images and it will still be automatically responsive 
since we are using the bootstrap grid everything is responsive on any device at all so if you like this video you can actually give me a thumbs up and then leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions or any clarification or whatever